I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there. It's just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie! Hey, B. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. It's a good... It's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists! <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah! You Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Is this a dancing minigame? Or do we just... Or do we just is this like a cutscene? Oh, okay, it's a cutscene. <laughs> B's spaghetti arms are speaking to me. And May is typically how I just kind of move around. Oh! You can change how you dance by pressing buttons. Oh, you can twerk. Okay. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm going to keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away with an eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, nope, that's... I was wondering if there's some way to finish this. Dancing is easy, what's the big fuss? What is this way? Hey, you. Hey, you? Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson. Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? I'm a college dropout. A ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams, where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something, like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain, and yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it would like kidnap someone on Halloween, pretty sure I didn't imagine that, and my friends don't completely buy it, and I have this thing going on in my head, and I dropped out of college and I don't even want to get into that, and all I wanted to do was come home for some things to be normal, and that's not really working out, and I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. I've never just listed all of that out once, all out at once before. Wow, I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. Uh. What am I supposed to do? There we go. Oh? What's going on? Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. 
Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh yeah, you should. Samantha. Ha, hexed again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on not not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom? Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Yeah, she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. How <laughs> well, a book you liked? I liked ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. Ha ha ha. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead. May, no! What the fuck? You can't just say shit like that. <laughs> May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who's died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Jesus, wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? poli -sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting? Maybe <laughs> check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their biz own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. And it's a sp small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I don't like the sound of, hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Santello. So I'm going to go with the other one. Also, that doesn't sound too good. Um, I feel like I'm going to spill some shit about her dad. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea to these complete strangers. But fuck it. Both of these sound bad. So let's go with this one. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and... Okay. That's a good start. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha 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 may know. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While Rich Kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. Why is May actively trying to sabotage everything? <laughs> May. What? Ha 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 ha. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I... Uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, B, f B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... Haha. <laughs> uh, B... B, wait. What was that all about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Uh, May going and ruining things again. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch her teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We'll find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh god, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Yeah, May, you royally fucked this one up. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? 
The roofs can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza part place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Okay, a little bit of new mechanics here. All right, that's a bit too... Oh, this is a rendition of Die Anywhere Else. Okay. Interesting musical choice. There you are! Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so friggin' sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. That is so... sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because my dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away and like any idea I had of the future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up. From a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that. Through your thick effing skull. I had no idea of any about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away. And I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just... Doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going down this past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. 
We're both trapped, but we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh, God. What river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors, and the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts. Like, uh, is this just... what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance. Well, I stay in the same place. I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement we call life, Beatrice. Thanks, that's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to one another time. Or we can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like, more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big as a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? The super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Wow, what an explosive ending. Bombshell. May Day, BB. Stuck together, don't suck together. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. That's how it is sometimes, but it's not always a great reason. I know. It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where, where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Oh boy, Garbo and Malloy. Do a bum. Malloy! Garbo? Never think about, you know, the afterlife. God. Okay. I don't have a life as it is. <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. 
You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be... A WAPA! <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Is that supposed to be foreshadowing? I feel like Garbo and Malloy is like just foreshadowing on like three, four, five levels of extra irony. Alright, it said... Cat God said that there's no more dreams happening, so... But I wonder if that's actually the case. Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. you Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May, that you did that. No, I wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I, I'll never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. That's really cute. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. All right, let's see if we dream tonight. Although I kind of doubt it. Nope, that's the next morning. All right, everybody. That has been day 10 of Night in the Woods. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and that you all will come back again for tomorrow's video because I am doing a daily thing on YouTube right now for the year 2021. But if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you dislike the video, uh, you know what to do. Leave a dislike. Any interaction, as I've always said, is a good interaction. If you have any game suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments section. Uh, make sure to just give it all to me. Um, but with all that being said, I hope everybody has a good day, a good week, a good month, and a good year. Um, and this is KSOX signing out, everybody. Bye-bye.